Hey guys, in this video, we are going to take a look at the Project Spagate version 3, which is a ported uh, treble vendor for our Galaxy A7 2016, which will enable Project Treble for our device, so through which we can flash various AOSP GSIs and OEM ported GSIs. So, without wasting more time, let's start. Oh, guys, J7 2016 development was at risk, and then in between, we like Accidentally or like in by surprise we got this project spagget and as you can see through which I'm running a treble GSI which is the Havoc OS 2.7 with a July security patch like Samsung has stopped giving you updates so now it's time to flash GSI with this ported treble also it has really less minor bugs which I'll be talking you about that in the next part of the video so please uh, refer to watch the full video Okay guys, let's move towards enabling Project Treble on your Galaxy J7 2016. So first let me show you, uh, like I already talked about it. So I'm running Havoc OS 2.7 with 12 patch and it is an official GSI. And you can see it is ARM 64A only build. So yes, you will now run ARM 64, like 64 bit OS. And you can see Android version 9 and your baseband j 710 fxxqv uh, whatever that your baseband is, like whatever the version you have finished. And yes, Oreo firmware is required, so if you are on no good firmware, you have to upgrade to Oreo firmware. And you can see the kernel version is correct. And now, this is not the uh, uh, kernel which came, this is a butter smooth kernel which will uh, like uh, increase your performance and give you a buttery uh, smooth experience on your treble devices. Uh, sorry, the treble GSIs. And okay, uh, first let's check this uh, project treble. Uh, app you can see it will let you check that does your device support project treble or not and now as you can see here it is written project treble supported so yes uh, the support uh, has been enabled like the project treble support has been enabled now let me uh, go through uh, the installation process for you guys and yes the havoc os review which i'm running will be coming soon uh, with the 2.8 i guess because it's like uh, no need to like actually uh, review the older version so I will be reviewing the 2.8 version and I will be also pushing some uh, other GSI uh, reviews so yeah please wait for that or you can install your favorite GSI too before that then you can see it's running really smooth and I'm really excited to like just push out the review and then people will be like crazy also guys deep slip is really awesome you can see uh, Havoc has a deep slip uh, thing so you can actually see but now as this rebooted device now deep sleep is 100% in this GSI so you can actually experience AOSP Pi without uh, any battery drain so this is actually awesome like if you are uh, like if you have flashed those AOSP ROMs uh, then you may have like faced battery drain but now in this GSI you won't be facing any battery drain okay uh, let's uh, move forward in enabling like what I was like actually talking about so you have to power off your device first so power off your device now guys after the device turns off you have to boot it into your recovery by pressing the volume up the home and the power button i hope you guys can see clearly yep so as you can see i have already uh 3.1 dot uh, like 3.3.0 uh dlp installed so then you have to just uh, okay before that before going into the process back up your older ROM or like back up your data in case you get messed up then go to uh, install now I assume I'm assuming that you are on the 3.2.1 recovery like I already flashed the 3.3 so yeah I don't assume everyone has flashed so I assume you are the 3.2 now you have to copy this image and set it to recovery and swipe the new one reboot into recovery again And if you were on the 3.2 recovery, you will get the 3.3.x TWRP which supports Pi and of course uh, the project treble too. Now after that you have to go into wipe uh, Dalvik cage data system, wipe your old ROM, wipe everything whatever you have. Uh, just don't wipe the internal SD card. Now go into install and I have all of the links for the stuff which is needed. So just go and download everything and yes, download everything. Even the revert vendor because in case if you don't like GSI, you can go back to stock ROMs using that. Like, just revert the vendor. Now, you have to flash uh, the Exynos 7870 create vendor zip. 
this will create the vendor and this is a treble converted by Corsicano and yes the same applies to Galaxy S8 which has the head treble yeah a different vendor has been good now it says done reboot recovery then flash any GSI you want so you have to do the same just reboot into recovery Now go to install and you have to install this Exynos 7x70 Projects Packet version 3 vendor. So this is the actual vendor and that is the uh, script to patch. So you can see it will uh, flash the vendor and the kernel. So you just need to flash the GSI. Now just go to install and you can install your favorite GSI. Now I'm using the Havoc OS GSI for this video. So I'll just go to install image and this is the Havoc OS GSI image, so you have to extract the image if you have got the uh, what I can say uh, zip format or some other format you have extracted. And guys, remember you have to flash ARM64A only build of the GSI, any GSI you mean. And it's flashing, so as you can see, it's getting flashed. It takes some time depending upon the GSI size. Also, if you want to flash open G apps, uh, I will show you how to do that. Okay, now after installing the ROM, if you want to flash G apps with the ROM, uh, as you can see, uh, flashing G apps and it will fail most probably, I guess. So, okay. As you can see, if it fails for you, as you can see, it says insufficient space. So obviously it will fail. So after this uh, message, you have to go into wipe, go to advanced wipe, then select system, repair, resize file system. This will also fail. Okay, after you get failed, go to recovery, uh, reboot recovery once and again do resizing. So you have to resize the system uh, because yeah, maybe it conflicts with something. So yeah, you have to resize the system. Okay, again, now go to wipe, advance, oops, sorry, advance wipe, system, now it will resize, as you can see, done. Now you can flash uh, G apps, and as you can see, uh, the G apps are being flashed, uh, yeah, you can see initializing core files, so the G apps are being flashed. As you can see, guys, the G apps have been flashed, now you have to reboot system. And everything is done and guys wait everything is not done there is one uh, thing is uh, like one thing is left so you have to watch that too so please do not skip uh, yeah if you want to use the ROM on a daily basis so as you can see it will boot loop once and let it show the boot animation that means it has been successfully flashed so yeah it will uh, show the boot animation just wait for it and yes uh, it's booting so it will take like a minute or two to boot and then you can set up the Google account and yep you can uh, set up the Google account and use your phone as a daily driver but there is also one thing like for some people the Wi-Fi won't work so uh, yes there is a fix for that you can flash it to recovery so yeah just uh, let's skip this and let's move towards that Wi-Fi thing. Okay guys, as you can see, Havoc OS has been successfully booted and uh, as I told you, my Wi-Fi is not working as you can see here. If I turn on the Wi-Fi, it will just turn it off automatically. Also, if you feel your first uh, time uh, uh, using this is not that smooth, you can flash this Kraken Project uh, Smooth uh, Butter Smooth Kernel. So this is the kernel which comes in built. Uh, sorry. Uh, this is Helios Pi treble kernel. So if you want to flash that Kraken kernel, just boot again into the recovery mode, just power it off. And boot again into the recovery mode. So press the volume up, the power and the home button. Boot your JSON 2016 into recovery mode. 
Now for those who uh, which like the Wi-Fi is not working, you have to flash this file too. Yes, everything is in the description, so just don't worry, this is the Wi-Fi fix, you have to flash it. Okay, now if you want the kernel, if you feel it's not that smooth, you can flash this project data for J710X, which is J7 2016 and supports all variants of the J7 2016. If you do uh, like feel your device J710MN or any other variant is not supported, you can go towards the XT thread which is also linked down below in the description and can uh, ask your queries towards directly towards the developer so that he can help you. And now it's flashing magic too. As you can see it flashed magic too. So yeah, it will automatically flash magic with this kernel. And let it boot guys, let me skip these steps. And guys, as you can see, the device booted again. And let's move towards Wi-Fi. And as you can see, now Wi-Fi is working. I can input password and can use Wi-Fi. Also, going into settings, uh, into about phone. As you can see, now the kernel is uh, Project Butter uh, Kraken and Butter C uh, for JSN 10X. So, yep, that's it. Uh, flashing GSI is an enabling Project Treble, like I said it afterwards. So yeah, I am doing Project Treble and Flashy GSI is on your Galaxy J7 2016 is now possible and through this method. So I hope you follow this method and also if you appreciate it by liking, I would feel really happy and make more videos on J7 2016 with trying different GSIs. Now the first one I would like to try is the Descendant GSI with August Security Batch. So it's uh, Descendant 4.0.0. So I hope to make the video soon and I hope you guys will support me uh, in this video also. So please press the like button if you like the video. Uh, yeah. And if not, press the dislike button if you don't like the video and you can post your feedback in the comment section. So bye bye guys. I will see you guys in the next video. Hope to see you. Um, yeah. Bye bye.